what we have is a linear animation of our line and our text that brings us to tip number seven using splines to make your animations more dynamic what does this mean when we go to the spline editor we can actually change the movement or the animation type from linear to pretty much anything that we want. If you have many nodes, you can actually select all of them and then edit them all at the same time by adding the same spline values to each of them. But if you want, you can also do this individually. When we select the line right here, as you can see, it's linear. If we press F, that's going to basically add an ease in and ease out options. Now you can press T right here with this selected. That's going to open the ease in and ease out value tool. Here you can adjust how much of ease in or ease out you want this curve to have. But if you want to be a little bit more creative, you can actually manually adjust the curves by just dragging these around. And you can also hold control if you only want one side of the curves to move.